Okay, hello. So for this lecture, I'm gonna be showing how to create a React app using WebStorm. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the React app tab over here, and that's gonna give me this new project options here. And I'm gonna choose uh, this name here, and I'm gonna name this Crypto Dash since we're creating a cryptocurrency dashboard. You'll notice that it's asking me to point to where my Create React app is. So this is basically just the command that it's going to run in order to run your Create React app to create your project. So Create React app is the name of the command to run the starter project. So we're just gonna run this and we'll watch as it creates our React app in this directory. Doesn't take too long. Okay, so it's done. So now I'm just gonna open up a new terminal here and you'll see now I'm in this directory and I can just see that some of the files that that's been created here. And then also you can jump over here to the text editors window here to look at these different files. So you can see that we have a source directory. This is where we're gonna be doing most of our work here in app.js. We can also just briefly discuss some of these other files that were created. Node modules, of course, is where our node modules were installed. So you're not gonna be looking in here too often. And then public is where our HTML file is. This is just the, the template that's used to run the JavaScript. We have our source directory here. We have some React files that are pre-generated for us. We also have some other files out here like a readme, a yarn.lock, and a git ignore file. So now that we've installed the project, now let's see if we can run the project. So to run it, we're simply just gonna run yarn start. You can see now that it automatically will open up a browser window here with our Create React App project. So now we have our React App showing here. Everything looks good. So now what we're gonna do is just to check that our changes are being applied. We're just gonna change one thing. So we're gonna open up our app.js and instead of welcome to React, we're just gonna say welcome to crypto dash. So to save that and we can see that just like that, our app is actually updating. So that's great. Now that we've made some changes here, we're just gonna pause and we're gonna do a git init. So again, we're gonna open up, we're gonna open up a terminal here and we're gonna just gonna run git init. Well, first we're actually gonna look at git status. It's not a git repository. So we're gonna run git init. Okay, so now we've initialized an empty Git repository. So we want to do this because we want to track our changes as we're working on this project. If we run into bugs later on and, and we're not using something like Git, then we basically don't have any markers to roll back our, our code to. So this is gonna basically create a series of commits that will save our code at that point in time. So we've initialized an empty Git repository. So now the next thing you usually wanna run is Git status, which will just show you basically the status of your, your branch. And we could see that we're on the branch master and we have no commits yet, but we have some untracked files here that we've created using create react app. The first thing you're gonna notice here is that I have, well, if you're using WebStorm, you'll notice that you have an idea file here and you don't wanna commit that because that's just gonna be WebStorm related settings. So in order to ignore that, and let's say you may have some files in here that you don't wanna actually track changes for. So you're gonna open up your git ignore file and we're just gonna add another section at the end for WebStorm. And so I'm gonna add in dot idea slash here. And so now I'm gonna save that. So I've saved my git ignore, and then I do git status again, and you can see that the dot idea file has been removed from the tracked files. Now, it's really important that we do this upfront because if we actually end up committing files that we don't wanna track, and then we later try and add them into our git ignore, they actually will still be tracked in the project. So. We definitely wanna make sure that we ignore those up front. So now that we've done that, we can create our first commit. So we're gonna say git commit. Actually, before that, we have to make sure we add our files. So git add adds them. We do a git status, and now we see that we have these new files that are to be committed. And then we can run our command git commit am, and then we're gonna say uh, initial commit. Okay. so. We just created our first commit for our project. Now you can see that these files are now not read anymore because they are now being tracked. So we could say git log and we could see we have our first commit being tracked. That's gonna be it, that's the first setup. So thank you.